Okay, let's talk about the top five light bulb moments that my students have during their golf lesson. Number one, alignment. You do not align your shoulders to the target. We align our ball to the target. So for example, if you're going on a par three and you're aiming your shoulders to the flag, your ball is lined up the right side green. So when you go play that par three, balls at the flag, shoulders are left side green for a right-handed golfer. Number two, when you tee up your ball with your driver, you want to be more off the toe. That way, when you increase the speed and your arms naturally extend away from you, you're hitting that ball in the upswing, you're going to hit center. If you tee it up in the center and extend, then you're going to hit heel, losing up to 40% of your yardage. It's a big deal. Number three, we do not look at the top of the golf ball because guess what? Then you're telling your brain you want to hit the top of the golf ball and then we end up hitting the top. So either look at the back of the golf ball, like four or five o'clock, or you're gonna leave a little bit of space between your ball and the club head and you're gonna look at the grass in that little bit of space in between. Or the tee if you're hitting a driver. Number four is posture. How many times have you had someone tell you to keep your dang head down? Most often it has nothing to do with you not keeping your head down. Because guess what? If you keep your head down too long, then your hips can't rotate through and you're gonna chunk the crap out of it. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch your knees because guess what? Our knees are bent throughout the whole swing. So if for some reason your knees extend and you lock them out and stand up, you're gonna pull that club up with you and you're gonna hit the top of the ball. So if someone says to you, keep your head down, I want you to think, keep my knees bent, keep my knees bent. Okay, number five, when you're punching out from under trees, try not to make your main focus where you want that ball to end up. What I want you to do instead is I want you to see where you want it to end up and then pick a halfway point. Why? Because our brain sees that target and thinks, okay, that's where I want the ball to land. So guess what? If your ball lands in the center of the fairway, it's gonna roll through the fairway and then into the other side of the trees. So instead, we're picking a halfway point, that's where we're gonna land the ball, and then it's gonna release into the fairway, stopping where we want it to. Like and follow for more.